guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I've been to Audi and I am really, really happy with this shop actually. So I took a little list with me. I actually managed to stick to the list, not stray off the list too much. Um, and this only actually came to 44 pounds, which um, gives us all the meals for the week and lunches, that type of thing. So if we can stick to this, obviously that is really, really good um, for me and my family. So it's me, Chris, and then we have two small children here as well. Um, including that all the household bits, but I will show you exactly what we've got. If you do like this type of video, I do post all of my grocery hauls, um, which I'll put in a playlist down below for you, and I will show you what we've got for food this week. Okay, so first of all, I would just show you the frozen item that I got. Um, I picked up these plant menu vegetable fingers. Um, I really like these actually, and I thought I'd give the children a go on them as well. I can see that it says that they're new. Um, I think these are about £1.50, but you do get 16 in a pack. So that is the only uh, freezer thing that I actually got this week. Um, moving on to fruit and veg, I've got the usual bananas, um, some cherry tomatoes, some peppers just for kind of mixed um, meals that we're doing. Um, I saw these, haven't had these in ages. Uh, Sharon fruit, I really like these. I think these are only about 95p. Uh, I went for raspberries this week. They did have loads and loads of strawberries in. Obviously, they're in season at the moment, but we have some strawberries in the freezer that need using. Um, so I only picked up the raspberries and I went for the wonky one. So I think it was about £1.20. Some grapes and some cherries because these were on special bite this week. So I think these were about 79p and I really like these. Over in the back there, we've got a bag of carrots, some red onions, a melon, uh, which is only about 80p as well. Some uh, British mini apples, these were also on special buy this week. Some cucumber, two packs of salad. I went for the watercress, spinach and rocket, and then one of these mixed leaf salads, which is only about 30p. And then I also got two packs of mini pears, as we're just really enjoying pears at the moment. And I tend to find that the mini ones actually probably taste nicer. Um, and these are the cheapest ones that they do as well. So there's about 50p a bag, so I got myself two of those. For bread this week, we've still got a few bits in the freezer. Um, so I've got a normal loaf of bread um, for the kids, and I have, obviously have it every now and then. And then some uh, soft white finger rolls as we're having burgers and the hot dogs one evening. Um, but we've actually got a meal kit thing to make the our own burger buns um that we had gifted to us um it was a christmas present it was like a subscription box so that's this month um to make your own sort of brioche burger buns so we're going to do that and then i just picked up some finger rolls as well because the kids will probably just have hot dogs rather than burgers as well for meats this week um i thought we could have um like cajun chicken burgers um just kind of butterfly them and maybe sort of do them on the barbecue marinade them first um but i thought yeah we could put that in our ones instead of having like beef burgers um, I also then picked up some chicken mints as we have some uh, taco boats to use and I saw this and it was actually cheaper than the beef mints uh, for 500 grams. We haven't had this one before, I've just scanned it so 100 grams is two smart points. Um, so it is higher end points than the lean beef mints but I thought we'd give it a whirl and I thought I could do it in um, some taco seasoning with maybe some peppers, that type of thing and then some salsa which I've got uh, coming up somewhere in a minute. Um, and yeah we'd have that one evening and we'd only probably use about half anyway because I've put like peppers and things and onions in it um, and then I'll maybe freeze the other half for next week or come up with something to do with it I'm not sure we'll see what it tastes like first and then we've also got some bacon as I'm going to be making a quiche this week um, I won't use a whole pack though but we'll just kind of use up the rest we've got some um, toasted muffins left to use up in the freezer so we'll just kind of eat the rest for lunches throughout the week over at the back here I've got some uh, lightly salted tortilla chips um the kids really like these every now and then and then i also every now and then just really fancy nachos and um, they're not horrific for you to be honest um if you're sort of talking about weight watch points i picked up this to go with it so the mild salsa dip um so a couple of those with some dip and some cheese and they make a really nice lunch or something um this is also for when we have tacos one night so a bit of salsa on top and yeah, the kids just like snacking on them as well, to be honest, because um, they're just obviously sort of plain flavour. So that's why I picked up some of those. Some more pasta. I'm really happy because Audi have now started doing the whole wheat pasta. Um, so a bag like this is only about 30p and we got to the end of ours the other day. So it's just to replace the one in the cupboard. Uh, a couple of drinks. I've got a, um orange zero sugar, so like a Fanta and a ZX Cola. Um, Chris also asked for an orange juice, I've got one of those, like I said, the salsa, we need some more uh, soy sauce, this was only 50p, and some oregano, some more passata for the cupboard, and tomato puree, as we always 
get through tomato puree, um, some bin bags and some peach slices. Um, I made some jelly last week with some cut up peach slices in and we all really liked it actually. It was just a nice change type of thing. So um, I thought I'd get another tin of peach slices and we got the other half of the sachet of jelly as well. Um, so maybe we could have that as a dessert again this week. Obviously it's really low points. And then we pop some of the um, anchor like square to cream on top and it just makes a really nice dessert. Um, some sweet corn for the fridge items and some cooked ham and some cooked chicken this is in we don't really use this one for sandwiches as such we kind of just um snack it out the fridge essentially um some more cheese triangles for the children and they've got some more sausage rolls as they absolutely demolished all the ones that i bought last week um so we've got some more of those this week some more um, butter or well, sunflower spread. We don't really buy butter unless I'm making a cake particularly. Um, we're not really fussy what sort of butter we have, so I just went for the cheapest one and the light version. Um, some full fat cheese for the children and some Greek style fat free yogurt for myself. I only went for a small one this week. Um, it's always the way that when I get a small one, I eat it all really quickly. When I get a big one, I barely touch it, but um, yeah, so we can always top it up. A blue milk and a red milk and we are nearly out of coffee beans so I picked up another coffee beans and if you do have a coffee machine which takes like coffee beans then I do really like the Aldi ones I would recommend them and it's definitely one of the cheapest places for them because they're only about £1.59 I think they were and then over in the corner here so we've got some face wipes um some nappies for Rosie just a couple of shampoos um I really like the coconut ones so that's what I've stuck with some deodorant for Chris some baby wipes uh, pasta and sauce for cheese and broccoli flavour. I thought this would do sort of me and Rosie for lunch one day. Um, some custard for the kids and some cookies. I also picked up these. Um, these were the midget gems. They're quite a large pack, but they were only about 10 to or something. So I obviously just open them. Um, well, I hide them away, things like this, and then just give them like a couple in a bowl at a time. These were also a really good price. These are the Jive, um, meant to be like Twix, I presume, but these were only about 50p as well. And you get five individually wrapped twin packs. Um, so I thought they'd be good for a little treat this week. Some roasted vegetable couscous. We're going to have this on the night that we have the homemade quiche. We'll have this on the side with some salad. Some chocolate chip cookies. I going to think these are only about 40p. And then I was going to buy um, ice lollies in the freezer section, but I saw these. So this is a 12 pack. And they come in two different flavours. So you've got raspberry, orange and passion fruit and watermelon, strawberry and peach. These were in like the uh, special buy section, but they're no added sugar ones. Um, so it means that I can have some of these as well. And yeah, you get 12 in a pack and they're only a pound. So we've got them for those. I'm going to pop those in the freezer for our ice cream this week. So that is everything uh, that we got for this week. Uh, like I said previously, um, I think this is a really good value for everything that we've got and we've still got some money left over in the budget as well to top up on things like if we did want some extra yogurt, fruit, um, one thing we always end up topping up on is milk, definitely. Uh, but what I will do um, this week is just write down my planned meals that we're going to be having in the description box below. So if you want to know what we are having for meals this week, then I'll pop that down there. We've got a couple of freezer meals um, that we do need to use up to. I know we've got a um, sweet potato curry in there. So that's definitely on the meal plan as well. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in another video again very soon. Bye.